Yo, 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 what is up? You know who it'd be. It's your boy Mikey G here. I'm coming at you guys with another Battlefield 4 video. Now, today we are talking about a weapon. This is actually a weapon breakdown, weapon review, whatever you want to call it. Now, this is different from my other weapon review series, which is Recon Review, which I hold every Friday here on the channel. This is just a regular kind of weapon, kind of breakdown, kind of thing. Now, we're looking at the M9. Now, first off, let me go ahead and say. The M9 pistol is not a pistol that you're going to be wanting to just run in, you know, guns a-blazing like I'm doing in this gameplay here. Even if you figure out a way to get behind the enemy and you're using it suppressed, if they figure out where your shots are coming from, nine times out of ten, they're going to turn around and get you, okay? You do not want to do what I was doing when there's snipers up there on the fucking ledge and shit and you're just running around with your M9 out, not even trying to use your AEK or anything, and... You'll see in here if the commentary stretches that long, or I might just cut the gameplay and put it in there. Yeah, you know, whichever one. It depends. Uh, if I really want you guys to see it. But uh, there's this cool part in here when I got, like, the medic revives and stuff. I was charged with the defibs. I was jumping around. I was reviving Wilson, like, um, what's his name? Tom Hanks or Cruz from Castaway. I was just going. I was like, Wilson! Wilson! Defibs charged! Wilson! Alright, but now that we got that, and look at that, and this dude starts like teabagging right here, just, oh my god, terrible, well let's get into the gun, so, the M9, in my opinion, I would have to say it's a pretty solid sidearm, it has 16 ammo in the clip, and 48 or 49, I believe, ammo to spare after that, so, I mean, the damage, uh, it takes a couple shots from a range, well, I think that would be with any pistol, though, but up close, I usually get four or five shots a kill. That's how it goes, you know, on the chest or something. And then the head, it's like three. Like, look at that. Even up close right there, I had to spam the trigger. So, I'm not too sure. It may be three or something up close, but I just know that there was a lot of people out there sniping. Using shotguns. Sniping with fucking shotguns. How the hell do you snipe with a shotgun? I don't understand this game anymore. I might just stop playing Battlefield. Ha! Like that'll ever happen. I'll keep coming back. Just like Call of Duty. Right, guys? Gives you bullshit and you come back for the next installment hoping it's going to be better. When it sucks, you just keep playing. I don't know why. It's kind of that thing now. We kind of got to that point. You know what? Like, this game's made suck, but you know, I'm going to keep playing. It's the newest one. Especially if you're a YouTuber. You're like, yeah, people want to see gameplay on this and stuff, so. And look, my frag grenade. Didn't even go off right there. That's the thing. He's just sitting there teabagging and teabagging me. But, anyways, this gun, I'd say, you know, if I'm going in rocking an LMG or even a AR, and I'm running out of ammo, I'm down like one bullet, but there's like a guy still coming through the door. He's like half health or maybe even full health. Switch to the pistol real quick, my M9. Boom, boom, boom. Got him. Or it could be the same with the recon, you know? Let's say you didn't buy the DLC and you don't have that Deagle 44 or the Unica 6, which is like a one-shot fucking pistol kind of thing. You know, he's coming through the door, you only have your M9 unlocked, you, you just started the game or something, you got the M9, M9 unlocked though. You, uh, he comes through, you miss that shot, instead of waiting to pull back the bolt and die like usual, you switch to the sidearm, pow, pow, pow. You got him, he's out, he's down. So final verdict, I give this gun a 5 out of 10. So, yeah, I'm giving him, uh stars now see look at that up close that only took like a few shots right there so I, i'm pretty proud of myself and i don't know why but i keep going back up these stairs and shit and look there's a claymore right there now luckily that guy's dropped dead someone dropped his fucking ass for me but uh yeah with that said guys if you enjoyed today's weapon review make sure to like subscribe comment and share till next time this has been your boy micah g and i'm out peace Hey, you